I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the new 2013 version of Apple's 13-inch MacBook Pro, the model with Retina display. They actually still make the 13-inch non-Retina MacBook Pro. That's the only laptop Apple still has that has an optical drive in it. Uh, but the primary product is definitely uh, this guy. And for the MacBook Air line, the primary product is the 13-inch MacBook Air. So you're really weighing those two very carefully. Uh, you know, this is not quite as thin and light as the MacBook Air. You do get uh, some more powerful options. You do get that super high high resolution, better than 1080p uh, display. And of course, both the Air and the MacBook Pro, all the different sizes now, have Intel's latest fourth generation Core i-series CPUs, otherwise known as Haswell. And you do get a little bit of a performance boost there. Uh, you get some better onboard graphics. These have uh, Intel's uh, pretty close to the best built-in graphics. Intel has the, the, the Iris graphics. But you also get the most important thing, which is a serious battery life boost. We saw that in the, uh, in the Haswell MacBook Air earlier in 2013. Apple says that you should get about nine hours of use out of this versus eight hours in the 15-inch version of the Retina MacBook Pro. And of course, you get 802.11ac, you get Thunderbolt uh, 2, you get USB 3.0, pretty much all the things uh, that current MacBooks have uh, or that current premium ultrabook style laptops have. I'd say this is a little bit outside of the category of an ultrabook, but it's certainly small enough to carry around every day if you don't mind just a little bit of weight. Uh, if you're a super lightweight traveler, you probably want to go with that MacBook Air instead. But if you need high resolution, and a lot of people uh, want that better than 1080p resolution these days, uh, this is one of the smallest, lightest ways to get it, especially with, of course, OS 10. This comes with Mavericks, the latest version pre-installed uh, starting from its launch. So you get the new features in the new operating system. Uh, it's interesting to see that sort of match up with Windows 8.1 launching at just about the same time. So anyone buying a new laptop this fall, whether it's a PC or Mac, gets new hardware and a new operating system. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the 2013 13-inch Apple MacBook Pro.